Supers, gamers, and moviegoers, what's going on guys? I'm the Messiah, this is Messiah Entertainment, and today we are checking out the trailer for the brand new Spider-Man game. It came out during E3 and stuff like that, so I don't know if it has any connection to the Marvel movie Spider-Man, you know, Spider-Man Homecoming or anything like that, or if this is going to be like a solo side project like they've been doing with the other ones. It'll probably be open world again like they did with, the, with every other Spider-Man game that's come out except for those... What was that one? The one with the different versions of Spider-Man, like the no noir version or whatever. But yeah, let's check this thing out. People see me and think they're safer. I got the Freedom Tower now. But it's not really me they're seeing. That's not familiar in Somnia Gaming. Knowing everything hinges on a guy from Queens sounds as scary as it feels. The traffic looks interesting. No pressure, right? Mm. Oh, okay, it might be because he has the same kind of eye things that Tom Holland Spider-Man had. Is this gameplay? That'd be nice if you could go inside like diners and stuff. Hmm. Because that was really the main thing that I always felt like was kind of odd about the Spider-Man games. It never quite felt like you were in New York City, you know? Hmm. This looks fun enough. Spider-Man PS4. Is it only on the PS? Oh, in development for PlayStation 4 system. All right, so no, no Xbox support, I guess. But I mean, it looks pretty interesting. It's it's gonna be like what is this? Like the fourth or fifth open world game for Spider-Man? None of them have really stacked up, in my opinion, to Spider-Man 2. That game was absolutely amazing, and for its time, it was like oh my god, you get to go all over New York City and web sling as Spider-Man and then you had like a bunch of villains not only just from the movie Spider-Man 2 but you also fought like Mysterio and stuff like that I think Black Cat was in that game that game was phenomenal 3 didn't live up to it uh, that other Spider-Man game Web of Shadows didn't live up to it uh, both of the new movies I think Spider-Man the Amazing Spider-Man 1 and 2 both had open world games and uh, apparently those weren't that good either so hopefully this one is interesting I wonder if it is just this original storyline that's separate from the movie separate from anything else if it does if it is then the storyline has possibly a chance to flourish you know what I mean they won't be held back by having to do things in line with the movies or anything like that you know sort of like what spider-man web of shadows did I actually really like the story of that game you know the symbiotes take over New York and stuff like that to me that was a really fun game the gameplay got a little bit repetitive especially when you had to attack the symbiote like monster bases or whatever you know like the, the little pod things you had to keep on going around the city and get like 17 of those it, that one kind of got tedious but if they do the gameplay well here and the storyline is pretty awesome I'm really looking Looking forward to this game. The graphics look fine enough. I'm really interested in how the world is going to feel. Sometimes I feel like with some of these Spider-Man games, some of the locations and especially the, the character models and stuff, like the NPCs walking around in the city, they start to get really repetitive and it starts to like sort of, I don't know, kind of break the immersion. That, that one scene inside of the building where you get to fly inside of the diner, that was actually pretty cool. And I remember in Spider-Man uh, 2, they had places, not everywhere, but there were select places you could actually walk inside of and do certain things. I remember there was even a place where you could walk inside and get upgrades for Spider-Man. So, if there if there's a few places like that and it adds to the world, it makes it feel like you go inside of buildings, outside of buildings, you know, and the, and the NPCs all look very distinct from one another, that'll be really cool and it actually make it feel like you're inside of New York City. Now, personally, I'm not gonna hold my breath because, the, like I said, the previous Spider-Man games have kind of been lacking, but if they do do a good job with this and they make it almost like Spider-Man 2 was, I'll be happy. You know what I mean? Spider-Man 2 set the bar and then all the other ones kind of came right below that one. Except for maybe Web of Shadows. It came like this close and then with the repetitive gameplay, it just it couldn't make it. So hopefully the story and the gameplay is on point with this and it has a brand new original story. I'm looking forward to that. But that's just my opinion. I'm sure you guys got your own. Let me know in the comment section down below. What did you guys think of the Spider-Man PlayStation 4 trailer? Did you love it? Did you hate it? As always, you guys can follow me on Vine, Twitter, MoviePilot, and Twitch. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. I'm the Messiah. This is Messiah Entertainment. Peace.